Hello, how are you guys doing tonight? Carlton for Carlton Travel Adventures and other things. Okay? Tonight, I uh, ran into some, some, some guys in Parker Jettis. I had to go there and do some business with an attorney. And you know, I'm walking down, and this brother called for me from across the street. Brother from Fort Lauderdale. Never seen him before. Remember, saw me from my YouTube channel. Hollered at me, you know, talked a little bit. And when we were talking, these guys, the lady came by and she handed out these flyers. You know, you get these flyers all the time in Medellin, you know. <clears throat> so he took the flyer and I said, I don't want one. Didn't take the flyer. <clears throat> so I explained to him why he didn't take the flyer. And he was not familiar with what I was talking about, devil's breath. So I want to do a quick video here, probably five minutes or so, to talk about this devil's breath. You can look it up, do your own research. I'm not a doctor. Didn't play one on TV. So... Do your own research. It's going to let you know. And it's amazing how people don't know this stuff. It's been in the paper a lot over the last year. And we don't all read the paper. We come here as tourists. And if you live here, you learn more about this stuff. You know, you're heightened to this stuff. All right? And so what is it? That was a breath. Okay? It's a drug. I'm going to read some stuff for you. It's a drug that um, there are about 50,000 cases I heard a year in Colombia. Of people get hit by this thing, you know. It's similar, it has the same chemical compound as scopalamine. If you look at scopalamine, is used in like seasickness tablets and so forth. They call it some also the date rape drugs in the United States. But this is not scopalamine, it's similar to it, same chemical compound. Now, devil's breath is uh, derived, I'll read it for you right here, derived from the flower of the borrachero. B O R R A C H E R R S A C H E R O shrub, which is common in Colombia, right? That's where it's from, Colombia. This Boracero shrub, right? Now, the seeds of the shrub, when powdered and extracted via a chemical process, contains a chemical similar similar to scopalamine. It's called Borandanga. B-U-R-A-N-D-A-N-G-A. -A -A. Okay? Alright, so give me the stuff you can do on research if you don't believe what I'm telling you. Alright? Now, the Berrochero uh, has been used for hundreds of years by native South American Indians in spiritual ritual. Right? It's supposed to make you, uh, you know, hallucinate, get you frightening images, you know, lack of free will and so forth. Right? And sometimes they say they can blow it. It's probably seen on TV. Blow the, blow the powder in your face and you lose free will and all this stuff. Some people say, oh, that's bullshit. It doesn't happen. That can't happen, right? But I'm telling you, it does happen. You know, people got, you can put it in a, in a drink and that's where you can overdose and die from it. If, it. if people, someone died last year in Bogota from it, overdose, and someone died just six months ago, I think. Not, it wasn't last January, maybe six months ago, right here in Medellin. So all in the paper. Uh, and I think a person worked for an airline from the same thing, right? You get, get in a drink, they can overdose on it, you can die. Now, various ways to get it in your body. And the one way that, you know, I'm trying to avoid is by these flyers. They put it in a business card or something like that, right? So when I go around town and they hand me these business cards or hand me these um, pamphlets, I stop taking them. The last three, four months, not anymore. You know, most of us are very polite. We take them, pretend we read them, walk two blocks, then throw them away, right? We all do that. We want to be polite. I'm a very polite guy. I'm saying stop it. So the gentleman I spoke to, with the dreads there in, uh, for, uh, in, uh, from for Fulala I spoke to in, in Parker Jettis, I told him to stop doing it. You know, so I decided to do this video. Because, you know, like I said, I've had, I know someone personally that got hit by it. Okay? This person was in Parker Jettis with a friend. Um, about a year ago, and if she was speaking to some other guys or, or, or another group of people, the next thing she know, I'm not sure if it was in, in a, on, a, on a piece of uh, material, got in a drink or what, she forgets, you, you lose your memory. You know, next thing she know, she's taking the people that she didn't know into her apartment, and she has video on the security camera, you know, in the apartment complex. Uh, Parts the guard, because she had guard, I have guards too. Didn't help, you know. He took these guys 
to our apartment, past the garden in the lobby, emptied out our stuff, you know, passport, money, some furniture, everything. Now she's with them as she's going out the front door, so it looks all legit, right? You know, you're selling some furniture or whatever, right? So why would the guards say anything? You're with them, but you have no free will. Cases that people have emptied their bank accounts, you know, from this stuff. So since I know someone personally, she showed me the video, I see, I've seen the video, of her going to her apartment, emptying the stuff out. How can you say it's, 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 it's an urban legend, you know? And she got hit, you know? I heard a story of another person who got hit in a, uh, in a grocery store, in, in public, in, a, in daytime in a public store, in a, sorry, a grocery store, uh, where, you know, she was end, end up giving this guy her money. So it is legit, it is surreal, you know? Be very careful, it's called devil's breath, you know? And guys, especially guys, I've heard stories too, of ladies when bringing a girl home, you know, make sure she take a shower. I'm going to sorry to be a little crude, but I'm, I'm trying to save your life. I'm trying to save you from being robbed. Take a shower before you have sex, okay? Because I've heard stories of putting this stuff on their breast, all right? And when you make a love, you, you know, you do it, suck a breast, then, then you, you take the drug into your body and you get hit, okay? So make these girls take a, take a shower first and you know I always say the reason I don't like your be be also I like a you know somewhere where there's a guard that sees the person comes up sometimes they check their ID sometimes they don't but they see him and there's a camera seeing who it is so if you got brought, brought a girl to your apartment and you got hit this is a, is a photo of her or something on camera of her coming up to the apartment but this person this lady I know when she got hit woke up you can wake up you know 20 hours later four hours later with a headache and forget you know who the person was and forget what happened you know this is a person waking up 24 hours you know and 48 hours later depends on how much drug you got you know so i know somebody personally i've seen a video of them hemp in their apartment now you know so if you think it is a joke it ain't no joke it ain't an urban legend right it's devil the breath you know so guys if they hand anyone guys girls if they hand you any kind of handout in the street just practice don't take them don't take them, you know. Someone give you their business card, they don't really don't know that well, if you don't know them that well, um, and you buy yourself, you know, I'll, don't take it. Just say thank you, whatever, you know. Uh, if you're with, with someone else, and I take the card and they're watching me, but to tell the person why you're doing this, don't, don't, just to both take cards. Give one person a card, I said, okay, good. One person take the card, other person don't take the card, and you know, and you're good. Tell them, oh, it's my buddy, he has a card, I'm good. Sounds stupid, yeah, right. I'm trying to protect you, right? So, devil's breath. Do your research yourself. Go online, look it up. 50,000 cases hit people in Colombia every year, okay? Uh, it's going to other countries too, I heard, you know, over in Europe and Asia, okay? And it's a com common shrub here in Colombia, okay? Hope this helps you. I was trying to bring you stuff that helps you. And, you know, just keep alert when you travel around the country, all right? Obviously, people think if you watch your drink and that's it. You know, we all know to watch your drink, watch your beer. You go to the bathroom, take it with you, or have your buddy watch your drink. That's obviously an easy way to do it, but it can happen to you other ways, okay? And when you guys are drinking, drinking a lot, and parking jealous in these areas, you know, you can, when you drink too much, which I'm not a big drinker, you saw me in a video in, uh, in, in Havana, I get three or four shots of rum and it messes me up. A couple of, you know, drinks. I'm not a big, big drinker and proud of it. I'm not to be ashamed of them. I'm not a big drinker and get drunk. No shame in it, right, at all, you know. But, okay, so, we all know about watching you drink. That's fine. You know, I can people, somebody can easily reach over and drop some stuff in your, in your beer, you know, or, 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 or your mixed drink. You're not looking. So, you always, we always know to watch our drink, especially in a crowd. But the other stuff like the business cards, other things like that. Okay? So I hope this helps, guys. Alright? Everybody subscribe and keep my channel growing. I'm trying to bring you more and more good information.